Alright YouTubers, I thought I'd show you how to make a slideshow video. I have a lot of slideshow videos on my channel, so I'm using a Windows Movie Maker to make those, and I'll just show you a simple way to do this. Now Windows Movie Maker is a free uh, software, it comes with Windows. So I've opened Windows Movie Maker, and up in the top left here there's a little button that says Import Media. I'm going to click on Import Media, and I have a folder here of a bunch of uh, media that I've already created. I'm going to go ahead and import those. And these are pictures and these are audio. Now the audio I recorded using uh, the sound recorder on the computer here and converted them to MP3 with that software. Uh, if you don't have that or if you'd rather use something else, there are other software out there. Adobe has a sound booth, of course you have to pay for that. Um, but there are other sound recorders that are free. Just do a search, uh, just bing.com and do a search for uh, WAV files or MP3 recorders, things like that. And you can find uh, lots of free software to do that. Uh, now I record the audio one paragraph at a time. I don't record it all together. As you can see, it's all broken up into sec. And the reason they're in sections is because uh, if I screwed up uh, halfway through, I would, you know, have to go back and start over again, or have to go, you know, change the audio to clean it up, go delete my mess ups. It's much easier just to uh, uh, record a section, save it, record the next section, save it, and so on and so forth. That way, if I mess up, I can just re-record that small section. So I have multiple audio files instead of just one long audio file. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag down the audio file and drop it right there. And I'll zoom out. Now you'll see right above here there's some zoom out and zoom in. The zoom out and zoom in allow you to uh, show more or less of the timeline. So let me zoom out here. And you'll see that it's showing only 1 minute and 10 seconds of the timeline on the screen right now. So if I zoom out, there we go. Now I'm seeing 220 and zoom it one more time and that should be good. Now I'm seeing 440. So that's about how long my video is going to be so that should be fine. And I'll drag down number two, drop it in, and number three, and number four. And I'll just drop all the audio in. And number six, number seven, and number eight. I believe that should be all of my audio. Yep. So there's all eight of my audio. So I've recorded eight sections there together. And right next to that, there is a play timeline button. I can click this and it will play the timeline for me. And it will play the video and the audio and the title all together. If you use the uh, play button that's up here, uh, then you only get the uh, selected clip. So I want to play the entire timeline, so I hit play here. And you'll notice that I have a little green box way over here. This is uh, the point in the timeline where I'm at. So I need to put this back at the beginning if I want to start from the beginning. I can click on this and I can hear the audio and know that my video is working or my audio is working. So now I want to add the pictures to it. So I'll just drag down on one picture. This is the picture I want in my first one here. And you'll notice it sets it to a, a certain time there. It's the default time, which you can change in your preferences. But I'm going to drag this over and kind of snaps to the end there. And I'll do the same thing with the next picture. Just drag this over and it kind of snaps to the end and so on and so forth. Just keep dragging these over until I get all the pictures on here that I want. Oh, that one too far with that one. There we go. So all of these will line up with my paragraph so there will kind of be some sort of order to my slideshow and to what I'm saying. Now if you're doing a slideshow with just music then of course you probably won't care about this. You can just leave these all in as the default time but I'm changing them to fit my audio that I have to go with it. And I want all these pictures to fade in and fade out. So there are effects that you can right click and get to. So I can right click on the picture and you'll see that there is a fade in and fade out. I want all my pictures to fade in and fade out. So I'm just going to right click on them and say fade in, fade out. You put a check in front of both of those so that they'll fade in and fade out. So it'll turn from black to the picture and then slowly fade away to the next picture. Right above that you'll see that there are effects. And these effects are what I'm going to do to make it pan across and zoom in or zoom out of the picture. So I right click on the picture go to effects and I can scroll down and find like pan left to right, pan upper left to lower right, pan down and zoom out and I like that. Let's do pan down and zoom out. I'll add that one. Click OK and now we can play the timeline and see what it looks like. So hit play and now you see it's zooming out and panning down at the same time for my picture which is what I wanted. If I didn't do that go back and remove the effects here. Let's hit remove you'll see that the picture just stays there when I hit play timeline the picture just stays there while the timeline's playing it doesn't move it it's a static picture 
So I like to have those effects on there. So I'll fade in, fade out, and then notice it adds in the fade in, fade out automatically to my displayed effects here. And then I can scroll down and find that pan down and zoom out. There we go. So my audio is done, my pictures are done. I just need to set the effects that I want on each one. Right click on them and set those effects. I, some of them I zoom in and zoom out, some of them I scroll down, some of them I move around, whatever you want to do. Now we need to add some text. Up on the top here you'll see that there is a title and credits link. I'll click on the titles and credits and you have a choice here, title at the beginning, title before, title on the selected clip. I'm going to do title on the selected clip and I'll just say this is my title and below that it says change title animation so I'll click on that link and I can change it from fade in fade out to something else like exploding outline there it goes I like that that's cool and I can say edit title text I can go back and edit the, t the text itself and then I can click on change the text font and color and I can change that to let's make it a bright yellow and change the font size also we can increase that make it bold if we want it to click on add title and let's go back to the clip and oh it put it on the one I had selected so I, when I write when I went to add title it said add it to on, on the selected clip and I had this clip over here selected I don't want it there I'm just going to move the title you can see the title down here at the bottom I'm going to move that title over here back to the beginning where I want it to go I want it on my very first one here and now let's see what it looks like this is my title oh, that's nice it starts a little too soon though, and I move it over just a little bit. I want it about right there, and I want it to last a little longer, so I'm going to stretch it out also. You just put your mouse on the edge there, you'll get a little red uh, arrow pointing one direction, and a red arrow pointing the other direction when you do that, as you can see. And you can drag it over, and now I can play that. So let's see what that looks like now when I play that. There's my title, pops up. And when it gets to the end of the title, the uh, title will go away. And you can see that my pictures are fading in and fading out. There's the title. The title fades away. And uh, that's how you make a slideshow. It's pretty easy. Now this, again, this is using a simple program, Windows Movie Maker. There are other very complex programs out there like uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, which is an expensive program, but something you can use besides Windows Movie Maker. But this is an easy way to make them. Uh, just drag down your pictures, drag down your audio, uh, create your titles, and it's very easy to do. It doesn't take very long to create these. Uh, the hardest part is recording the audio and not screwing up and not stuttering when you're talking. But if you get that done then you, and uh, find the pictures you want. Oh, and by the way, don't use copyrighted pictures if you're going to put them on YouTube. Uh, these pictures are all free that I got from a, a photo stock photo site. Uh, if you want to look for, uh, for uh, stock photo sites, just go to uh, bing.com and type in stock photos and there's tons of sites out there. Some of them are free, some of them you have to pay a few dollars for the pictures. Some of these pictures I get for free, some of them I pay for. So just get the pictures you want and there you go. Or you put pictures of your family or whatever pictures you already own the copyright to also. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the video here and we'll uh, see you later. Check out my other videos. Bye!